Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. And it saddens me that you won't be Jared's first, because he is going to take a man in 2020. Well, here we go. Well, he, I'm, not, I'm not going to be his anything, but I, I'm happy to guide him through this journey. Well, he said before coming on the show, he goes, look... Milo would be the guy to do it. Like, no, I did Yeah, no, it, no I, it's okay. It's okay. It's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's you not, did. It's not going to make it weird between us <laughs> because you're right. I would because I'm like a man's man, but I'll take it, you know? So, and I can tell you if you're doing it right. And in the morning, not only will it not be awkward, I'll just be drinking beer and shooting the shit and teasing you like the previous day because unlike a woman, having sex with you won't affect my feelings for you. I won't think any more or less or really anything of you afterwards, just as I ho- hope that you wouldn't me. Um, so, so no, I would. I, I would, think you just convinced I, him to go gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this glimmer in his eyes, like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see him like sit forward yeah. slightly? You know, he's yeah. like, wait, that's what it is. Yeah. No, it's just like wrestling, and you both get to come at the end, and there's no feelings. <laughs> yeah. What could, be, what could be more wonderful? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's well, great. Because Jared's dream is just to hang out with dudes, get oh, his yeah, dick dude. sucked, and then play video games and write music. You know he's a singer, right? Funny we'd met a year earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I still would have said no, but I would have been more tempted. <laughs> Yeah, 2020 is the year of Jared. We're looking forward to it. It's not, it's yeah, not gay. Yeah, these two idiots just, are going to be on a school board, and I'm going to It's not gay. It's dudes. just a bit of dick play with your bros. It's yeah. <laughs> just a little bit of with your bros, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you switched to, like, a New Jersey American for that. You know, just with, just with, with, with your bros, you know? Just, uh, with your bros. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know... I like to tease him because he's the one with the raw, smoldering, furious sexual energy in the room. Um, and I don't really want to talk to him at all. I just want to get staked out, you know. Uh, anything, anything that he says is just a waste of good grunting time as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like to tease him so much. And I don't do fatties. Um, oh, but, God! But you... But you, I think, are in the room are the only one. Well, aside from obviously, you know, uh, you, you're the only one in the room who I I could definitely see um, w- 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 with a with a successful bisexual future. Yes, there we go. <laughs> this is what we said all along. Thank you. After the first time, it's so much easier. <laughs> is it really? It's like murder. Yeah. Is that true? Did you start with it, girls? It is like murder, actually. Yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah. Did you start with girls? No. Well, no, I first started killing men. Uh, uh, yeah. and then, no, <laughs> the no, girls came later. It is. No, when you, when you, you know, look, that first time when you just see the, the light leaving somebody's eyes, it stays with you. But, but two, <laughs> two, three, five, and ten, it's nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah so, you, know, you know. You know. I mean, he's not, he's not as much of a man as I am, so he's had to do it through a scope, whereas I've done it with my bare hands. Um, <laughs> in, the, in the killing fields. Uh, <laughs> Just outside Raqqa. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you poor idiots have to get deployed and eat rations. I go there for a vacation. Just strangle the fuckers. You know, I don't know. Um, I, no, I can, I can see it. I can see it. Wait, what does that mean? Yeah. You, see you going... You bisexual. You, yes, yeah. bisexual. You've talked enough about it now where it's oh, like, it's going to happen eventually. On. But here's yeah. the real question, and here's something that he probably shouldn't be involved in. So if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to just switch seats with me so we can talk about, about this for you. Because mm-hmm. we, we're here for you. We care about your future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What we have to decide is, um, on his behalf, because we're going to have to put this together. Yep. Top or bottom? Ah, so we have discussed this. I him. think he would be versatile, to be honest. I do too. He's a pretty. Isn't that sort of a cop out answer? Flat. Then? You. What you basically? <laughs> he's <flat. laughs> if he's if he's flat, that would imply that he's going to be the one getting getting maybe yeah smashed. Maybe. maybe. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The only problem is I don't think he would let it happen. I think the first time. He'd tense up like he was being tased. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I think he's got to be on top for the first time and then be open up after it. Like, so the normal procedure is be, and be opened up afterwards. Yeah. You make it sound so clinical. Well, it is and it isn't. You know, you got to pry yes, those cheeks about, about overweight people, they always talk about things in terms of food or medicine. Have you noticed that? Oh Everything sounds God. clinical. <laughs> yeah, well, 
So <laughs> after that, we'll open him up. It's like, oh, open him up. And the reason is they're always either eating or undergoing some kind of gastric bypass or something. My God. <laughs> their whole life. I'm glad is, for a video their show. Whole, God damn it. Their whole life uh, is either in Walmart or the emergency room. So that they, actually they, sounds way more like that piece of shit. Yeah. To be honest. Walmart, the emergency room. I've never yeah. been in the emergency room. What is, what's the most embarrassing thing you've had stuck up you? Nothing. Well, Nothing. That's, a, that's about to change. <laughs> 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 okay, so we think, first of all, someone sucks him off. Yes. Oh, then, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly sure, what I said yeah. this then morning. Then he bangs, then he is banged, and after he's banged, he never goes back. Do we do we have a whiteboard in here? Too? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck are we right, doing right we're now? We're whiteboarding no your fucking future right now. Dude. This, this is, is that's exactly what's what we said this morning. Once like, you go crack, you never go back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I said, we're, we're going to ask Milo about this tonight, and I go... Here's exactly what I think the order should go, and it is 100% exactly he would, what he said. He would be, um, if you'll forgive the gay expression, a hungry bottom. Uh, he'd be one of those. Is that I want to hear. It? I want to hear more about this. Yeah. He'd be one of those. He'd be a power bottom. He'd be one of those people writhing and moving, and he'd be he like being on top because he would like the feeling of being on top, mm-hmm. except it be in his ass. Uh, you know, like that, so you, yeah. That, that you would did be, break a bet last week, right? Yeah. So he'd still yeah. like to feel like he's in control of the of the event, even though he's the one getting penetrated. So he would be, yeah, he'd be a, a hungry or a power bottom. Hungry bottom. Hungry like bottom that. is way better Hung- than power bottom. It's so much more demeaning. <laughs> 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 All right. And especially you, a hungry bottom. Like a hungry bottom. Well, great. I mean, then I could finish the book. The Heterosexual Male's Guide to Homosexual Oh, sorry, you were about to tell us about your book. We haven't got time this week, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, Homo come on. Yolo. No, come on. Tell us about your book. No, I wanted to, I wanted to write a Karma Sutra book for homosexuals, but from a hetero. But we standpoint. don't need the help. You do. It's true. Damn it. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> what could you possibly have to teach somebody? I mean, I created a move called the Big Dipper. It involves seven people. I'll draw it out for you later. Well, can, yeah. we, can we just? No, we've got four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Take seven. Of what? And then, and then, and then, what uh, kinds? What seven of what denominations? Guys. Is that Denomin- what you said? <laughs> denominations. <laughs> Three Episcopalians. Yeah, exactly. A Jew, <laughs> one of the <laughs> and a Southern Baptist, <laughs> and, and a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that your favorite thing about women? I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm such a Gemini. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Sid, you fuck my dad. It's not my fault. I'm Taurus. <laughs> like, that is my, absolutely right because I'm on thing. I'm on Hinge and like a girl opened the conver- conversation. What is is that is it's it? a dating app, but you really are lonely. They- <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need to be on a dating app? Because you you know like you 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 could easily pick up hot girls in real life. Why you? I don't da- go anywhere. I don't go out out, 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 out in public. Well, you're too bu- you're too busy cooking for the seven people who live with you. <laughs> yes, he does <laughs> ceviche. Yeah, oh, it's a big dish. He's Everybody's got a dish. Oh. He's yeah. Ceviche's himself. not cooking. No, he's giving Ceviche himself. Ceviche is just chopping a few things up and hoping for the best. He's <laughs> given himself food poisoning at food. least four times that I'm aware of. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and I think it's just in the five years we've been best friends, six years, I've seen you with food poisoning seven or eight times at least. Yeah, because you know, you've got uh, a weak constitution, huh? No, no, it's strong. You've I just a, experiment. You've, you've got a jippy tummy. That's no. what you've got. <laughs> jippy tummy? You've got a jippy I'm tummy. I'm ordering fish off the dark web, Milo. <laughs> no. <laughs> that might have more to do with it. <laughs> we got fucking hammered one night and went to some shitty grocery store and bought fish that expired that Swordfish day. Swordfish in Salt Lake City. And tried to make... And yeah. yeah. That should be a that should be an interracial dating app, the dark web. It would be a much better... <laughs> much better oh, much yeah. Better. Uh, so, so the first guy that you're with, I think it stands to reason that it would probably be a Caucasian. Um, the yes. second guy who you fucks probably white or maybe maybe Hispanic. The guy that does you first would have to then again be white, but inevitably after you get a taste for it, you're going to want to step up, and that's when I can be useful to you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>